All right, I'm gonna go over how to create your homepage. So, um, by default, you will get your latest post displaying on the front page. Let's go ahead and change that. So the first step we're gonna do is go ahead and create a new page. So when our page is add a new one. I'm gonna call this one home, just so it's easier to find. And then um, let's go ahead and publish this. And then under settings and reading, we're gonna change a front page display to a static page. And then for the front page, we'll display home. So we can go ahead and save that. And now when we go to our home page, you can see we have our home page set instead of latest posts. But it doesn't look like the home page yet. So let's go ahead and edit this page. And let's go ahead and go under page attributes template. We'll select home page and that will um, get rid of the sidebar. Let's go ahead and just um, open this page in a new tab so we can kind of tab back and forth. So now you have your home page and uh, the slider is going to be the biggest thing missing and that's just added under home page slider. We'll cover that in the next video. But uh, there's a couple ways to add content. One is you can just start adding content right here in the um, well, I did the homepage, so you can go add some content. And if you refresh, you can see your content is going to be added right there at the top. And you can do all sorts of things. You can use the column short codes. If you wanted three columns, you can add in, um, you know, maps, all sorts of good stuff on the homepage as you need. Um, so it's pretty easy if you want to just start adding some content. But if you want to replicate the live preview, that is done with widgets. So if you go into Appearance and Widgets, <clears throat> there's two areas to add homepage widgets. One of them will display on all pages, and then the other one just displays on the homepage. And we've named them pretty handy for you. They're named Home. So we've got, uh, so far we've got five widgets that work in the homepage area. And, um, you can just toss them over and set up these options. So for instance, um, let's go and just save that and refresh our page and you'll see services pop up. And of course you have to have services. Um, so if you go into the services post type, make sure you've added services, otherwise none of them will pop up. So um, we have a title, you have a sub headline, then you can choose how many posts are pulled in and how many columns. So for instance, let's say we want four posts in two columns. We can save that. And then let's say um, you wanted to pull in a specific service category. You could go in services categories and look up your service. So I'm going to do that real quick. And uh, I don't have any categories, but if you had, for instance, an example category, you could just copy this field and then go under widgets. And under services, you could pull just uh, posts that are in that category. If you leave it blank, it will pull in your latest posts. Then you have options for if you wanted a button like view more services then you could you would ideally link to your services. You have a sample icon which um, is covered under the short codes. And you could just save that. And so there's your button. So you have the same control over all these other widgets. So portfolio works exactly the same as does testimonials. You can um, checkbox the um, you can adjust the background image, you can add one, you can adjust the background color, you can change the fonts to light if you have a dark background color like we do in portfolio. So we refresh that, we've added our portfolio and it's a light font color since it's a dark image. And then testimonials right there. And then the last thing to go over is this widgets on all pages. So by default if you visit another page and you scroll to the bottom, you won't have any widgets appear. But if you want one to appear, like we do in the live preview, you can just grab that widget. And then you'll refresh it and it will, will display in the all pages.